you can create new events in Fantastical just like you can in any calendar app by clicking and dragging. For instance, if I wanted to make an appointment for Thursday, and this is one of those appointments with myself where I'm going to audit email. Let's say I'm behind on email and I want to set some time for that. You just type in the title. Uh, if you hit this down arrow button here, there's a whole bunch of additional features you can set, like I'll change the color. And several of these features have been discussed in other videos in the series. But once you're done, you tap Add Event, and you've created the event. But with Fantastical, there's a much easier and faster way to create events. All you have to do is click on this little plus icon here, and then you can start using the magic of Fantastical. I'm going to type uh, Friday 10 audit email. And as I was typing that, you saw it filled out the event for me. Uh, audit email is the event title. Friday, since I wrote Friday, I knew that's the 17th. And uh, since I put 10, it figured out that was 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. If I'd made that 10 to 10.30, it automatically figures out it's a half hour. All I have to do at the end is hit the return key, and I just created an event. That is so much faster than goofing around with your mouse. And this is great. If you just figure out that much, you're so much ahead of everybody else that uses a calendar. But if you want to go a little deeper, you can get a lot more out of this line where you type in a new event. All right, let's do more with this, though. I'm going to create another new entry. This one's going to be a little more detailed and have a little bit more information on it. This is going to be a check-in meeting. And I'm going to say with Lynette. And when I start typing the name, you can see it automatically prompts me with someone in my contacts database with the name Lynette. There's only one, so I'll arrow down and select it. With Lynette Barcana, I'll say Saturday. And when I typed in Saturday, it figured out the next Saturday is the 18th from now. And we'll say 10 hyphen 1045. I'm going to say it's going to be at Disneyland because I like Disneyland. When I do that, it does the same thing. It puts in a suggestion for me, Disneyland, because it knows I like going there. And let's say I want to set an alarm for this meeting. So I'll say alarm 30. And now it just added an alarm 30 minutes before. And I can even put it in a particular calendar. Use the slash key for that. So slash. And as soon as I hit slash, it gives me an option of all my available calendars. But instead of do, uh, scrolling through that, I'm just going to put the letter F, and then it gives me all the calendars with the letter F in it. I'm going to put it in the Fantastical calendar. I can have a little bit more fun with this. Rather than being a 45 minute starting at 10, I can say it starts at 10, but it's going to be 42 minutes. And when I do that, you can see it automatically updates to be 42 minutes. I can even set a time zone. So let's say that my recipient is in Eastern time zone. I'll set it to EST. And then when I look over here on my calendar, you can see the proposed event is 7 a.m. because I'm on the West Coast and we've got a three hour time set. So it automatically takes into account the time zone difference. If you hit the down arrow here, you can make even further adjustments if you want, but you can see I was able to create this entire event, rather complex event, just using words in the Fantastic Out parser. It's just an awesome tool. Uh, the things you want to take away from this is if you want to set an alarm, you, you type the word alarm and put the number of minutes after it. Um, if you want to get a person, just say with and type their name and it automatically fills it in for you. If you want to put it at a location, type at and the name of the location and it'll find it for you. And to get it to a particular calendar, it's the slash. Hit the slash key and then start typing the name of the calendar or just mouse down or hit the arrow key down to the one you want. I'm going to hit return now and I've created this event with text. All right, let's see even more power with this ability to add events with text. I've got the Fantastical mini window open up here in the corner, and there's a separate video in this series on the mini window. It's basically a little menu bar app that runs uh, a small version of Fantastical that, that's always available to you. Uh, you can leave it on the menu bar, you can drag it off if you want or put it back, but I'm going to add an event here that is going to be Family Game Night. And we'll say 7 to 9 p.m. on the second 
Saturday, whoops, of the month. All right, when I did that, it figured out the next second Saturday is February 8th, and it's proposing adding it then. But what if I wanted to make it every second Saturday of the month? Well, this is text. You can make it literally every. So instead of on the second Saturday, say on every second Saturday of the month. And when I do that, it added a field here to make this a repeat field on every month on the second Saturday. Let's say that I want to reference a website like boardgamegeek.com. That's a website that I like to look on for new board games. Fantastic how I was able to figure that out. That was a URL and put it into the event as a URL. And finally, let's put that on the Fantastic Hal calendar. So I'll type slash F and then arrow down to Fantastic Hal and I'll press enter. And now I've created an event the second Saturday of every month to have family board game night. So there it is on the 8th of February and there it is on the 14th of March and you can figure out the rest. As you can see, Fantastical makes creating calendar events way easier than the traditional method of clicking and dragging and mousing to specific boxes. Once you get this language under your fingers where you can just create an event with a couple lines of text, you're going to use it all the time. I particularly use it in this mini window view. When I'm on the phone with someone or I get an email and they want to set an appointment, I just open the Fantastical mini window type in the event, hit enter, and it's created. It is so much faster than the traditional means of creating a calendar event. You'll find that you never forget to add calendar events. I wanna show you this over on iOS as well, but before we go over there, there's one last tip I wanna give you on the Mac. I just opened the Fantastical Preferences, and there's a keyboard shortcut here you can customize. I've customized mine, so it is Control Option Command F, that's all the three keys next to the space bar plus F. And that allows me to open up that mini window really quickly to add those events. And that's part of the whole process of getting calendar events in fast. So uh, once you learn how this all works, make sure to add your own custom keyboard shortcut to make it work for you and start adding calendar events faster than you ever thought possible. Now, everything I've covered in this video also works on the iPhone and the iPad. Let me show you real quick. Here I am in Fantastical on the iPhone. I'm going to add a new event using the natural language. I'm just gonna hit the plus button in the lower right corner. And I'm gonna say the event is weekly review. And I'm gonna do that Sunday from 1500. I'll use military time to 1600. And we'll have an alarm of 30 minutes. And I'm going to put that in the Fantastic Al calendar. Looking good. I'll tap the add button. And now I've added my weekly review to my Sunday calendar. I probably sound like a broken record, but it's so easy to add events with Fantastic Al. It's one of the app's killer features. And if you're going to use Fantastic Al, you should get that syntax under your fingers so you can take advantage of it.